three, two, one. Main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Atlas V. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine and four solid rocket boosters ignite to generate more than 10.2 million newtons, or 2.3 million pounds of thrust, to lift the rocket on its way towards a hyperbolic escape trajectory. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the dynamic pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 35 seconds. Following burnout, the four SRBs are jettisoned at 1 minute 49 seconds. In the next two and a half minutes of first stage flight, the Atlas V will more than triple its velocity. At 3 minutes 27 seconds, the payload fairing is jettisoned. At 4 minutes 22 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the booster engine shuts down. The Atlas V is now traveling at more than 21,680 kilometers, or 13,470 miles per hour, and located nearly 156 kilometers, or 97 miles in altitude, and 497 kilometers, or 309 miles downrange. Six seconds later, the Atlas Centaur separation system activates to release the booster stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 5% of what it did at liftoff. Ten seconds later, the first burn of the Centaur main engine begins. Burning liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, the Centaur is attaining orbital velocity. At approximately 11 and a half minutes into flight, cutoff of the Centaur main engine, or MECO-1, occurs. The mission now enters a 30-minute coast phase in preparation for the Earth escape burn. The Centaur main engine is restarted at 45 minutes. This burn provides the required thrust for Centaur to escape Earth orbit. Approximately eight minutes later, final cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs. This completes powered flight. Centaur will coast for nearly five minutes in preparation for spacecraft separation. At about 57 and a half minutes, Centaur releases the spacecraft into a hyperbolic orbit traveling at more than 41,000 kilometers, or nearly 26,000 miles per hour, on a seven-month cruise to Mars, where it will seek signs of ancient life on the red planet and collect rock and soil samples for possible return to Earth.